This is the incredible story of Alexander the Great. It is how he did the impossible by literally turning an island into a peninsula. The year is 332 BC. Alexander is sweeping through the Persian Empire. The powerful Phoenician city of Tyre stands defiantly in his path. Tyre is not a mainland city. It is a massive fortress built on an island. It sits half a mile, or 800 yards, off the coast. The Tyrians were confident and utterly dismissive of Alexander. They believed their strong navy and the wide sea would protect them. Alexander knew he could not waste months on a slow naval blockade. He needed to take the city immediately to continue his grand campaign. He made a stunning, impossible decision. He would build a road to the island fortress. He ordered his army to construct a massive stone and rubble causeway. This structure was called the Mole. His army dismantled the ruins of old Tyre to gather the necessary materials. It was an unprecedented feat of engineering for a besieging army. The Tyrians scoffed at the impossible plan. They constantly harassed the working soldiers. They sent fire ships and raiding parties to sabotage the construction. The strong sea currents relentlessly fought against the effort. The work was slow, dangerous, and agonizing. But Alexander persisted for seven grueling months. He eventually gathered his own fleet from allies to protect his engineers. The mole grew steadily toward the island fortress. Finally, the physically impossible was achieved. The causeway was completed, spanning the entire channel. The island fortress of Tyre had been physically connected to the mainland. The city was now a peninsula. The Tyrians were stunned into silence by the sheer audacity of the construction. Alexander immediately rolled his siege towers and infantry across the completed mole. The great city fell shortly thereafter. The feat secured Alexander's absolute control of the Mediterranean coast. It demonstrated his genius lay not just in battle, but in sheer force of will. It proved that for Alexander the Great, even the physical laws of nature were subject to his command.